joining me today. Today I'm going to do a hair update on this wig that was sent to me by DivasWigs.com. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about this beautiful t-shirt that was sent to me by La Marchelle's Boutique, Fashion Boutique. Here's her card right there. And here is the t-shirt. Okay, as you can see, this is a white t-shirt and it's covered with loads of heat seal gems on it to create an afro. It's really cute. You can see her lips and her, her rose or her flower is made from red, the red gemstones. This is really nice. And I love the way they made the gold hoops out of the larger gold caps. This is really cute and she looks like she's sleeping. It's really really sweet that t-shirt also comes in black I saw that at the website so here I'm wearing it with the jacket because this t-shirt fits me kind of tight across my chest I am very full busted so you know if you if you're full busted you may want to size up and this is the t-shirt again on the close-up I stretched it out so that you can see what it looks like close up and it's so so cute um, you know at her website they have she has loads of beautiful designs that are not cookie cutter design they're very unique in design and in style and I saw a couple of things there that I think I'm gonna pick up especially something for the holiday so I really recommend that you check out the website guys and also I'm going to link her Facebook page below also so that you can make contact with her and connect with her on Facebook but uh, yeah, anyway, I love the t-shirt. It fits kind of well. I like the way it fits in the waist. It really defines my waist very nicely, and I think it's really cute. Okay, guys, so I'm going to continue with the hair update. Okay, now, so I'm going to get into the hair. This is going to be a quick, quick video, guys. So this is the hair, that again, that was sent to me by DivasWigs.com. Um, this wig is holding up very, very nicely, as you can see. I had to deep condition it before I wore it, wore it three weeks ago because I noticed I leave it out on the wig head and my home is very, very um, warm. It's very warm now. And I think this hair may have been feeling the effects of dryness in the air. So it felt a little dry, but once I deep conditioned it and not like for a long deep condition, it was sort of like a, um, a co-wash deep conditioning. I just wet the hair just rinsed out any product and I tend not to put any products on this maybe a little bit of hairspray just to give it not a shine but to make it look mm, not dry let's say and that I was using the care care on it and not a lot I don't use a lot I just kind of use a little bit and just kind of spritz it and then I'll run my finger through it just to smooth out smooth the spray into the strands I mean, I really love this wig. Again, I, I, I said in my initial video that the hairline is very forgiving, and it really is. As you can see, I do have some grays, but what I did was I put, I pushed the wig back off my hairline, and I just took my comb, a comb like this, and I just pulled out my own natural hairs in the front and just blended them over. Just pulled them out and blended them over. And that's, that's how I'm rocking it. That's how I always wear it. The, exactly the same way as I described and the hair is really big it tends to get big the more you pull it apart the color oh this color is gorgeous especially for my skin tone um, this is a number six the, bl the blonde or the light brown is a number six this is like a dark blonde definitely a shade of blonde and then this is a 1B the darkest at the root and it really looks nice it really looks like hair that's been colored and now it's growing out this is a custom color you can have if you contact the the vendor on site you definitely can discuss custom color so if you want this blonde part or this light brown part in red if you want it black or if you want it all the one B I'm sure they'll be very very happy to accommodate um, yeah, so this is the update. Again, like I said, it's, it's holding up really, really well. 
I think if you this is the kind of wig you're not going to wear every day or once a, once every few weeks or once every few days, you may want to maybe put it in a nice satin bag and keep it away from the heat in your home. You you, you don't want it to get dry because it, it really did feel dry until I did that like kind of co-washing to it. Okay guys, so this is it. This is her. This is wig. Again, you asked for the update. Okay guys, so that's it. Just wanted to drop in and share with you two things. DivasWigs.com for the hair and La Marchal Boutique Fashion Boutique for the t-shirt. Really nice. Really nice. And before I go on my lips today, I am wearing two types of lipstick. First, let me tell you my pencil. I'm using, I need for my lips, I'm using the MAC. This is a brow pencil. This color is called, uh, I think this color is called, not stud, strut. This color is called strut. And what I found out after I bought this, I, I thought this was too light for my brow. So what I do with it now is I'll use it up, I have a couple of them. I'll use it up and use it as a lip liner which is what I did here today. And on my lips, I'm wearing two types of Rimmel London lipstick. There you go, that's what it is. This is the color. I put this on first, this is very moisturizing, so I put this on first. And then, over top of that, I. And I just simply took the matte color and just applied it. Just like that. So let me just watch the two colors together. This is the matte color in the red tube. And then this is the moisturizing lipstick in the purple tube. And the one in the purple tube is right here. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And very quickly, to give my face a glow, I am wearing, this is called the Matte MAC Luster Drops. And I just simply just shake that up once I apply my makeup, my foundation. Now, before I apply my powders, I just took a little bit of this, and a little goes a long way, as you can see. Took a little bit of the Luster Drops and just kind of put that on my and sort of blended it down, put a little bit down the bridge of my nose, just like that. Took the rest of it that was on my fingers and I just applied it to my upper cheek area. And that's how I got the glow that you see today. And just make sure you blend it down. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And whatever's left, I just put down here on my chin. Okay guys, so that's it. That's it for the hair, the t-shirt. That's it for the makeup today. Um, if you have any questions about either one, just leave me the questions and I'll answer them as soon as I can. So you take care, be well, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.